What's up, ladies and gents? This is going to be the unboxing part two of Nintendo Land. So we now have the screen right in front of us. We've got the option. I'm going to switch it over to my screen. Here we go. Now I'm going to select Nintendo Land on the game pad. And I've been working a lot trying to figure out how to capture both audio and video from both the TV and the game pad. So far, I have not been able to really figure out a solid solution. I know relatively what wires to buy to get both audio selected, but uh, it's not easy trying to figure out how to do a video. I've considered doing a... I've considered doing a kind of homemade contraption. All right, we're booting up Nintendo Land for the first time. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and downloaded the update. Uh, if you haven't played it. Every time you play a game the first time, touch the box on the Wii U gamepad. There we go. Hello. How are you doing? Monita. Park guide. Okay. Oh. Check it out. So I've got first warm up. Try looking around. Hold the game pad up right. <laughs> Hold it upright facing the TV. Okay. Move the game pad like a viewfinder to find me. Like a viewfinder to find you. Where did you go? There you are. One last time. Move the game pad to find me. There you are. Okay, great work. Next we'll practice moving around. I wonder how the frame rate's gonna look for you. If it's gonna be smooth or not. We'll find out. Use the L on the game pad to run. Okay. I'm running. Look around or to turn. Press the ZL button to squint and zoom in. Press the ZR button to jump. Press the ZR button to jump. Oh, so even if you tilt, it still continues. Okay. So it really does act as like your viewfinder in the world. Okay, press ZR to jump. All right. Now, there's something I want to show you. Here you go. Presto. That is a massive Please, question mark box. So tap on it with tap on it with the game pad to open it up. I'm pretty sure you can hear it, but I, it also, I think it's coming through both, both audio s places, both the uh, TV and the uh, gamepad. Some games obviously will have separate audio. Tap on the tower to go to the top. Wow. Nifty. <laughs> Nintendo Land is all about variety. <laughs> Go ahead and run through any gate that catches your eye. You can get information about the attractions from the signs in front of each gate. All right. Before we go in anywhere quite yet, let's just try out some of the controls. 
Okay, so A doesn't really do anything, B doesn't really do anything. R, the RL button, jumps, as we learned previously. L is a squint. Can I just jump off? Oh! Landed safely! We're good to go. I should really hold it like this. So tilting the Wii U pad, gamepad up and down affects... It's probably delayed on your screen. Um, but if I tilt it up, it looks up. If I tilt it down, it looks down. It's instantaneous here for me. But I know it's probably delayed a little bit for you on there. And to be honest with you, uh, if you were to actually use the gamepad to play this, like I, you know, I, when I look down at a gamepad, it's kind of looking down like this. And this does not really help, right? So you, if you were to play on the gamepad, you would have to hold it out like this in front of you, when, which would probably kind of cause your arms to get a little tired, to be honest. So what I'm doing instead is I'm kind of just manipulating it down with the gamepad on my lap, and I'm tilting it as I need to, but I'm playing on the TV. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, we'll definitely go test out some of the attractions. Just want to see what we can do. Nothing really. Can I talk to you? I can't really talk to you, can I? I'll just run into you. Okay, well, they go in a circle. They're kind of all. One person. Captain Falcon's Twister Race is one person. But I actually want to go in the Zelda one because it just makes sense. Can I do it one person? I can't remember, but I hope so. Alright, we're going to try it out. Here we go. Quest. Oh, wow, they got the music. That's really nice. It takes me back. Time attack or quest. Let's try quest. This was my this is my ringtone for about a year or two. Ah. <laughs> uh, this is my ringtone. Play as the archer or play as the swordsman? We'll play as the archer, obviously, because we have a gamepad. Select your me. Select my me. Who are these other me's? They're not me. And this is me. Okay. Start. Or plus. Registered. TJ. Cool. Caution. If a registered me in Nintendo Land is deleted, or its favorite status is removed in the me maker, the registered data will also be deleted. Okay. The grasslands start. Let's do it. Check it out. I got a bow and arrow. I should really should have my outfit on. Okay, change direction and shoot arrow and look around. Look at the gamepad screen. Press ZL and ZR. Okay, I pushed it. Look at the gamepad. It's just showing me the me. It's basically what you see here, but through the fog. Okay, push A. Pushed A. Okay. I'm viewing the tutorial. Basically, it's the same shot, just... Triforce. <laughs> Hold it close so you can hear the voice. Okay. So it's giving me a first-person view. Oh, 
that's not really what I wanted to do. I just want you to see it so that you can... It's not really going to allow me to show you, is it? Not really looking. Uh, I guess it's just looking at the ground. There. You'll have to look at... There we go. So this is kind of what I'm seeing with the bow. And I'm using the controls. I guess you can kind of see it a little bit. You can see my arm moving on the on your screen. Okay. Push A to start. Okay. The grasslands. So the left arrow. You can uh, you can look around with either left joystick or with the right no sorry with the left joystick or by moving it um. <laughs> gotcha and you tilt it down as you probably just heard to uh, refill I'm kinda curious if headshots have a difference here Pretty intense. But this is going to be important to be able to capture. Um, to capture gameplay from this. Oh, you can break the pot. Excellent. confirming there's uh, nothing else to shoot. Pretty good. Fast paced. Get out of here. So I just got hit by one of those guys. Gotta start using my arrow faster earlier on. Might be good to just charge arrows or just to launch arrows at the very beginning. I think headshots do more damage, do indeed do more damage than body shots. Arms are getting a little tired holding the gamepad out like this. And if you wait for it to charge up like that, it's it's pretty good. It's more powerful it seems. I'm kinda curious what you see on your screen. Headshots don't seem to actually do any difference. It's just whether or not you get the... Um, charge up on the arrow. Nintendo coins, is that what they are? Combo 10 hits. 10 hits without missing. Is that what that was? We got the Triforce. The ultimate symbol of courage. But actually there's a Triforce of courage. There's a Triforce of power. And Triforce of wisdom. Hearts lost, four enemies beaten, 35, hit combo 10, got 26 rupees. 
These are snapshots, I guess. Six coins. Very nice. Discovered four of them. Well, let's go ahead and quit. Let's go try another one. See how it is. <laughs>